Welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This is the newest Deus Ex game, came out in 2016. It's the sequel to Deus Ex Human Revolution, which came out in 2011. Even though it is a sequel to Human Revolution, don't worry if you haven't played that game, or if you don't really remember what happened, because I am in exactly the same boat. I did play it, but I do not remember much of anything from it. And I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I'm sure if there's any major plot elements that are important, I'm sure the game will make that pretty obvious and kind of fill us in with what we need to know. And if you aren't familiar with Deus Ex at all, it's set in the future. It's a stealthy kind of action game. Sneak around and get information. Um, you can augment your body with all sorts of special abilities and stuff. And yeah, you'll see. You'll get the hang of it. So let's begin a new story game. There's three difficulties. Basically uh, low, medium, and high, and then one that I guess you have to unlock. I'm going to try starting out with the hardest difficulty, and I can always turn this down if it ends up being too much. So before you start the game, it asks if you want to see a recap video, recapping what happened in Deus Ex Human Revolution. I haven't watched that, and I don't intend to, because it does say that Mankind Divided can be enjoyed as a standalone experience. And if you super want to watch the video, if you go on YouTube and type in Deus Ex Recap Video, it should be the first result. now, Hansa. Are you? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jinn an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jinn, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. 
I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. So we get a choice between lethal or non-lethal weapons. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna try to go non-lethal. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there. But a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Definitely a distance weapon, because I can do non-lethal takedowns. So from a short range, I'm already pretty effective even without a stun gun. But from long range, I can't do anything without a tranquilizer rifle. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Actual. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block us at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. I should probably explain one thing about Deus Ex Human Revolution before I continue. And that's that the culminating event in that game was the AUG incident they were mentioning on the news. Where all the augs were in infected or, or something went wrong with them. I don't remember exactly what, but yeah, it made them all become extremely violent. So just to put this in context, this is happening two years after that. And in fact, around here, not right right here, but around this place, this hotel, which was abandoned after the incident, you'll find all sorts of old rotting dead bodies from when all the augmented people killed everyone else, and each other, I suppose, too. Oh, yeah, actually, here's one of the bodies. Credit chip. 47 credits. Jensen, we're moving through... Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. You should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. <laughs> fuck you! I should also mention that I normally play games for a couple minutes or so before recording just to tweak settings and get a little bit used to controls, but I've actually played this one for quite a bit longer. I've actually almost finished this level before, just to get used to everything, because this whole level is actually one really long tutorial, and I didn't want to go over too much tutorial stuff in this first video. Felt it would just be too slow and too annoying. So there's going to be all sorts of tutorial prompts, but yeah, I pretty much know all of it.
Did the seagull just drop that? One thing I did not do, though, when I played through this level before is really explore the environment too much, because I was mostly just trying to get, do the tutorial stuff. So I am going to explore still. There. Maybe the fish could use the tools. Eh, close enough. So yeah, with all my augments, I can jump super high. I think I can... I'm pretty sure I can fall, like, an unlimited height. I mean, we kind of saw that when Adam literally jumped from a plane down to here. And I've got a lot of other abilities that you'll see very soon. Actually, right about now. So, augmentation wheel. Uh, so you have your list of augs, and you can assign them to quick slots. Uh, I think you're limited to F1 through 4. So you got four slots there in the middle mouse button. So they want me to put... For the tutorial, they want me to put Smart Vision on middle mouse button. And I'm also going to assign... Uh, so Lake Silencer, which makes your movement silent, is on F1. That's good. I think I want the Glass Shield Cloaking, which makes you invisible, on F2. Kind of my two don't-see-me-don't-hear-me things on F1 and 2. And then Typhoon, which I'll show you what that is later. I'm gonna put that on F3. So our vision we can see, there's a crack. And it's just telling me about storing items in inventory and stuff. Alright, so I need to get inside of that door over there, but there's no power. So, let's fix that. Oh, we got a pocket secretary thing. Uh, Connor, our investors are getting nervous. Some of them have begun to seriously consider cutting their losses and pulling out of the project. Hell, if that was my money, I'd do the same thing. I'm fairly certain that the Desert Jewel is not going to be completed by the delivery date. I don't have to remind you that this would be the fifth time we've missed a date and what that will mean. I need a way out before Wahib Tahir sinks. I need your help, Connor. Can you meet? I'll be in New York on the 10th. Hmm. I'm not sure how much the backstory of this place matters, but it's interesting that they're behind schedule. I guess it really, really didn't help when uh, the Og incident happened. The power's on, that's good. The bad thing is... death. But that's no big deal. Oh yeah, this is the introduction to the hacking minigame. So it just like assaults you with millions of things of text, but... Um, it's pretty simple. So you start from this this blue node and your goal is to get to the green node that's when the hacking finishes once you get there and this red thing is basically the security that's going to try to catch you so I'm going to try I'm going to start capturing this node here because we want to work our way to the green node so I'm going to start capturing it take some time there we go and you can see now the red is trying to find us so we got like 30 seconds before it finds us but it shouldn't be an issue 70%, 80%. After we get this one, we can get the green one. And... Access we're good. Granted. So that's the basics of how it works. There's some other things. There's some, like, little booster things that you can use to try to stop the security system. And all that stuff. Yeah, this is telling you how to use cover and stuff. Don't want to enter tutorial mode. Thank you. I think that was the last one. Ah, <laughs> I'll do another sweep in the area, just to make sure. 
So there's kind of a sticky, like a, a sticky kind of cover system, as you can see. So like this is not in cover, and then if you get close to something like this and press F, then you're kind of, well, you're third person, so you can see over it, and you're kind of stuck to it, and you see it shows you like where you're pointing, where you could go, and if you press space, you actually go there. So you can just like aim around and go there, or alternatively, if I hold the right arrow key here and press space, I'll roll across here. So you can walk directly to somewhere, or you can roll, or if you hold down space, you'll actually like go around the corner while staying in cover. So a lot of different things you can do. The idea of a sticky cover system in a stealth game is a little bit scary to me. I mean, the good thing is, is it makes it more clear when you could be seen versus when you can't. Because I guess if you're in cover, like, pretty much you're good. You know, as long as there's something in between you and them. So that's kind of nice, but at the same time, I just hope I don't accidentally get stuck. It's pretty easy to come out, though. Like, if I just press the back button, like, if I press back to move backwards, you just instantly move. So I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Gonna do a takedown. So a quick tap of Q does a non-lethal takedown, and if you hold down Q, it does a lethal takedown. And it does take a little bit of my augment energy. If you look in the bottom left of the screen, that blue bar, that's my aug energy. I don't think it's actually called aug energy. What is it called? Bio cell restores it, so I don't know, bio energy or something. Uh, but yeah, it takes up a little bit of that when you do a takedown. I think it's just to prevent you from just, like, running into a huge group of enemies and just doing a takedown on every single one of them. Probably just devious some reasonable limits. Let's move them out of the way. Don't want that other person to see. We're pretty far away right now, though. Let's loot this body. Painkillers. Oh yeah, and uh, if you hold down right mouse button and kind of zoom in on an enemy for a couple seconds, that marks them. That's why this person's marked. Hmm. I actually didn't go this way before. Looks like we have yet another way to go. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I was just thinking, why use the ladder when I could just jump? Oh, cool! We can go in the rafters! I didn't know this was a thing. I think I want to take this one out first. me, my friend. Oh. Yeah, so if you start to get seen by an enemy, you see that little yellow bar that popped up for a second? That gets to max and they actually saw us all you. I think we're good now. I don't know if you can, like, sell their weapons. Because they're lethal weapons, I'm probably not going to use them, generally. But maybe you can sell them? Let's take a look at our inventory, actually. So we got a bunch of stuff. This is our Trank gun, which actually I should assign to the Quick Slot 1. This is the machine pistol. Uh, I guess I'll put that on too, just in case. And we got our stims and stuff, but I can access that through a different menu. Also, the grenades as well can be accessed through a different menu, so I've got smokes and gas grenades. Gas grenades are super good. They're basically like, basically like an area of effect tranquilizer. You know, after like five seconds or so, they just fall unconscious, just like they do with the tranquilizer gun. So these are super good. Typhoon ammo. 
Oh right, that's the augment I have. Yeah, so I've got the Typhoon Augment, and apparently the augment itself also takes ammo. So it doesn't just use power, it uses ammo. And that's kind of like an area of effect. Uh, I guess it like stuns everybody around you, so if you're being mobbed by a bunch of enemies, you can use this and kind of run away if you want, or just to buy yourself a little bit of time. I want to go back up here. I wonder if there's any loot. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, so you can just go right over this fence. I do actually have the code to it, I think. Oh, no, I don't. I must have missed something. I, on my previous playthrough of this little section, I think I found a... Uh, whatever those little, like, personal PDA data entries were, and one of them had a passcode, so it gave me the passcode for this. In that case, can I just jump up there? Nah, you gotta go the long way. I'll just hack it, it's fine. Well, this one's bigger. Yeah, so I think the number on them indicates how hard they are. Like, this is a level 1, this one's level 1, this is a level 2, level 2. So I think the level 2s would take longer to hack. And they also have a higher chance of the security actually detecting you. So you can see this level 1, there's a 30% chance that if you hack it, the security will start to come after you. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. Ooh, tranquilizer rifle ammo. <laughs> Stun gun ammo. Don't even have that. I love that you can just punch locks off. This got some alcohol, I think. Ah, uh, the Icarus landing. Augments. Augmentation triggers automatically. Uh, okay, so it, I guess it's not necessarily that you can always survive a fall of any height. I guess maybe you need a certain amount of power, possibly. You know, I don't think I actually jumped down here when I played this before. Let me do a quick save. Another stealth tutorial. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, yeah, this just goes to the same place, actually. So I can either take the elevator or come down here. This empty shaft. So they're both totally valid. Oh, right, now I'm on top of the elevator. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna make myself invisible. Shit. Well, that didn't go so well. I don't even know if I hit them with the trank, did I? I don't think I did. Okay, uh, let's get some more energy. So this, yeah, this is our energy bar. There's a certain, this like thick part I think is where you'll auto-regen to. But anything above that I'm pretty sure you need a bio cell to get above. Let's relocate. Ooh, I can do a takedown, but the other one's obviously gonna know. Well, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, that's cool! So if you're behind cover and you do a non-lethal takedown, you actually, like, take the person back into cover with you. Oh, I like that. I didn't know that. Okay. 
installed the signal booster already? Oh, Good. There is too much riding in this deal. Last thing we need is the comes breaking down. Uh, yeah, it's a little combat tutorial. Just skip that. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's still the fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Adam's really sassy. I should probably move this body. Oh, they don't want to come with me. Come on. Are you stuck in the wood? Okay, if you're going to be that stubborn, you can stay. Yeah, so i got to keep in mind that if I drop down, it does make noise if I don't have the silent feet thing on. So they will start to turn around like that person did. Not that big of a deal if you're right behind him. I didn't mean to take out this weapon, but I guess I should reload it while I have the chance. Okay, they're going pretty far away. I think I'm safe to explore here. I don't know if this special vision shows you things you can pick up. It does show you throwable things, that's good at least. right by us. Oh! Oh, they're below us! Okay. I'm assuming if I walk around they won't be able to hear me? Jensen, watch your yeah, we're good. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Such a gorgeous view, huh? So, if I was to break this, would they hear me down below? I'm curious. Never have come. No, they don't. Good to know. Surprising, I kind of did just explode a wall. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a gas chamber down there. It's like a gas hazard down there. Ooh, newspaper. Oh, that's the person we saw in the news. Eliza Kassan. Uh, wait a second. This story seems to be broken? It's in, like, two panels, but, like, this one sort of scrolls. This one sort of doesn't, and they don't seem to link up right? It, I, it's a mess. This one's, this one on the left sometimes scrolls a tiny bit. This one always scrolls. But it also scrolls the main paper at the same time as scrolling this panel. I do not know what's happening. This one we can read, though. Brown reassures investors. Billionaire business mogul Nathaniel Brown admitted that extreme weather conditions have delayed construction of... Rabia, the glittering 3D printed city being built in Omen for Augs. Yet he told shareholders not to worry. 
We only need a few more enlightened investors backing us to put Rabia back on course. 3D printed city. Oh, you can mark people. You can mark people through the walls, and it even tells you what their weapon is. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, that is so cool. There's a there's a plunger, and I can't pick it up. That's just so sad. Okay, that's everybody. Yeah, I don't know if I want to mess with that room. That is way too high of a concentration of people for me to be able to take them out one by one. What's going over here? Anything? Hopefully things are as smooth on season. Nothing. Always nothing. Detected me right at the last second. But we're good. I just hope the other one didn't hear that. Nope, we're good. It's getting harder to breathe in here. Nope. Distraction might be a good idea here. Smoke grenade. Grenades and mines. I don't think there's anything new here. Quick throw, hold down. V. Yep, so this menu allows you to assign whatever grenade you want to use and then just tap G to just quick throw it or hold down G to see. Actually, I can do it right now. If you hold it down, you can see exactly where it's going to go. Here, Damien? This place belongs to the dead. We should not be here, Bakur. Or Bakar. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, sorry. The faster this deal of Sing, uh, Sings is over, the better. This place is no longer meant for the living. It is a tomb, and everything it contains has been tainted by death. Believe me. The things left here after the incident may seem innocuous, but they are a trap, left by the people they belong to as conduits between worlds. That is why you must leave these things where they are. Touch anything, and you invite the grave into your life. Your implanted rebreather augmentation prevents gas damage. I don't know if I have a reason to go in there, though. Throwable hands off. Cool. <laughs> it's weird, too. The objects you throw make very little, if any, noise. Like, that makes no noise at all. So, looking at the map, it looks like this chamber may be... Actually, it doesn't look like it connects to anything but this room itself. I guess it's just an alternative way to get into here. Alright, I think we gotta deal with this huge room full of enemies. <laughs> 